Hi everyone, welcome to Medicine Note YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about phenobarbitan as well as phenytoin sodium. Phenobarbitan, it is a sedative hypnotic drug, belongs to barbiturate, came into use in 1912. It is a sedative as well as hypnotic drug. It is used in sedation action also as well as hypnotic action, belongs to barbiturate group of classification. In, it is came to use in 1912. Still it is used as an one of the effective drug of anti-epileptic drugs. It is used in epilepsy. The uses of this epilepsy. What are the epilepsy these phenobarbitan group of drugs are used. They are grand mal epilepsy, status epilepticus, partial epilepsy which is not effective in absence seizure. Dose is 60 mg. The drawbacks are drowsiness, tolerance, drug addiction as well as enzyme addiction. If the patient take this phenobarbitan, they will show a drowsiness characteristics as well as tolerance. They develop drug tolerance against this drug. Drug addiction as well as they used to take this drug after the treatment also this leads to drug addiction and enzyme addiction. These are the drawbacks of the phenobarbitan. Now we will see about the phenytoin sodium. Phenytoin sodium is an commonly used as an anti-epileptic drug belong to hydratoin group. It is a phenytoin sodium is a common drug which is used in anti-epileptic drug as well as it is belong to the classification hydratoin sodium. The mechanism of action of phenytoin sodium is in cell membrane, the Na plus channel exists in three states, which is act resting state, active state, and inactive state. But this phenytoin sodium prolongs the inactive state. This inactive state is prolonged, so there is delay in recovery. So there is no entry of Na plus into the into the cells as well as there is no depolarization. When there is entry of Na plus it undergoes depolarization. This depolarization is used in you know, nerve impulse conduction. But here there is no Na plus entry. So it is results in no depolarization. So there is no nerve conduction and electric pulse and no generation of impulses. This is the mechanism of action. This is how this Phentyne sodium inhibit the action. The therapeutic uses are it is used in grand mal epilepsy, status epilepticus, trisaminal neuralgia, ventricular arrhythmia. The dose 100 mg BD for 1 to 2 years for grand mal epilepsy is given. This dose this 100 mg is given for 1 to 2 years in grand mal epilepsy. The adverse effects are Hyperplasia of the gum due to overgrowth of gingival collagen fiber, particularly children after six month treatment. This is due to the hyperplasia of the gum is due to the overgrowth of the gingival collagen fiber, particularly in children after six months of treatment. Hirsutism, which is an asinine coercing of facial features especially troublesome in young girls this young girls have more asinine in asinine which is pimples in them as well as they have uh, malign features like facial hair growths this is responsible this phentyne sodium is also responsible for this adverse effect the hypersensitivity reaction which is skin rashes lymph gland swelling these are seen megaloblastic anemia due to decreased metabolic folic acid absorption in stomach. There is decreased folic acid absorption in stomach due to the phentyne sodium intake. So there is megaloblastic anemia as seen. Osteomalacia. This is due to increased metabolism of vitamin D and calcium. There is osteomalacia as seen. Thank you. That's all about the phentyne sodium and phenobarbitan. If you like this video, please do like, share and comment my YouTube channel. If you have any doubt in it, please do comment it. If you want any other topic to suggest, please do suggest in the comment box. Thank you. Please do subscribe.